I'm thinking. No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't script this one. So you spend two, three, or maybe $4,000 and you got your fancy new 16 inch MacBook Pro. Now, what are some of the main accessories that you should consider getting first? I'm gonna tell you all about it, coming right up. What's up everybody, my name is Sean, welcome to Azam. <laughs> What's up everybody, my name is Sean, welcome... So... <laughs> What's up everybody... <laughs> What's up everybody, my name is Sean, welcome to my tech channel. If this is the first time you're stopping by and you enjoy tech content like this, you may want to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification so you won't miss my future videos. Let me start by saying this is not a sponsored video and no one's paying me to review any of these products and these are some of the products I use daily with my new 16 inch MacBook Pro. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. I have affiliated links down in the description below. So if you want to read and learn more about the products and see their latest prices, definitely take a look by clicking in the description. So when you get a Mac MacBook Pro, there's a good chance that you want to be mobile and take your MacBook around with you. And when you go on Amazon or look online or go to Best Buy, you're going to see a ton of different options for cases and sleeves. And the first product I wanted to share with you guys is one particular sleeve that I personally enjoy and I want to share with you guys. So this is the uh, Tom Talk. I'm not sure if I pronounced the name correctly or not. Let me tell you what I like about this particular case. It comes with a handle which is really nice, but uh, what's really nice is something very simple inside that I enjoy having. And I've had different sleeves for my previous MacBooks that did not have this feature. So around the sleeve, uh, you actually have this uh, quarter inch foam that wraps around and it gives you very mild protection for sudden bumps uh, when you are walking and maybe you bang into a door or when you drop it down, it's not gonna be as sensitive. Uh, number two is the really nice snug fit that this sleeve have. So if you actually put this in, you will see that edge to edge, it gives you a really nice uh, snug fit. Now, technically you can put your 15 inch MacBook Pro in this one as well, and it's gonna fit just fine. Also outside, you have one uh, pocket that has a zipper on, and for me, I will put my charger and a couple of different dongles and accessories in here that uh, it's just gonna be very simple and easy for me to be portable and mobile when I go around. Now, the second thing is talking about dongles. Uh, one common complaint that most people have about their MacBooks is the fact that it comes with nothing Nothing but USB-C ports but uh, in real world we know not all accessories have caught up and come with USB-C and uh, the next accessory I highly recommend is a particular dongle that uh, would work really nice with both 16 inch and 15 inch MacBook Pro. This dongle it actually uh, is a 7 in 2. The reason they call it a 7 in 2 not a 7 in 1 because it uses both of the USB-C ports on either side of your MacBook Pro to be able to provide the power and the connection as well as the stability. So when you go ahead, plug this in. So when you plug this in, it gives you a really nice, simple and elegant connection. So you don't have to have cables and dongles hanging around. And it actually is fairly secure, like I said, because it uses both of those USB connections. Now in this one, you do get one pass-through USB-C connection, so you can still charge your laptop uh, through this connection. A Couple of other things I personally like about this USB-C hub is the fact that it comes with a, a data port as well as uh, an SD and a micro SD card. So most creators, when you're gonna be on the go, you know you wanna be able to quickly transfer your, uh, your, your films or your photos from your camera to your MacBook so you can start editing and this is gonna be fantastic and you'll be able to use it on the fly. The third accessory I wanted to share with you guys is uh, a magnetic USB-C charger. So if you remember in previous uh, MacBooks, we had those magnetic chargers. As a matter of fact, uh, can you hand me that? The MacBook, yep. So as a matter of fact, if you remember, uh, the previous chargers were magnetic. What's nice about this one is when you're trying to go ahead, get a charge, it's very easy to try to snap on. But also if uh, there is gonna be an accidental cross over where you have your cable, 
it's not gonna pull your laptop off the table. Now, with the new laptop, since they're all USB-C, we don't have that feature. Uh, this particular uh, magnetic USB-C connection I have, it is fantastic for a couple of reasons. One, it gives you that magnetic uh, uh, feature that we're looking for. There are a couple of different options if you look on the market. One is they actually offer the entire charger that is gonna be uh, that is gonna have a magnetic head you'll be able to connect into your USB-C. The reason I don't like those models are they're not able to offer the same amount of power that our new um, chargers with the 16 inch MacBook Pro offer. So what I like about this one is you use your existing charger, you simply will plug your USB-C into this ma magnetic piece and you can start charging just like that. And then in case of uh, an accidental trip, you're not gonna damage your laptop. Uh, so the next accessory I wanted to share with you is uh, these uh, cooling uh, fan pads. Cooling fan pads, cooling pads, something. Uh, I'll put the link in the description below. But now these two giant fans, it would offer additional uh, cooling support for your laptop. So not only it can potentially help you with uh, keeping your um, uh, keeping your MacBook Pro uh, safer for longer and you won't damage the internal uh, systems but also when you are sitting down and um, maybe you're on a couch or in bed and you're using your MacBook you can actually put your MacBook Pro on this uh, and the fans will still work just fine because they can use these openings on the two sides to be able to suck the air in and then push up the cold air and trying to cool down your MacBook Pro from the bottom. The next uh, two accessories, they're not necessarily exclusive for uh, your MacBook Pro, but if you uh, like listening to music and you've already spent all this money and you're trying to have uh, some matching dark headphones to try to go with this without breaking your bank, I personally have become a big fan of these uh, black pods. These are uh, clone AirPods that are in matte black. Uh, the quality, be honest with you, it's not gonna be like AirPods, but again, you're not paying $200 for them. They're typically about 50 bucks. I have the link in the description below. Uh, and the final accessory I wanted to share with you guys has to do with your uh, storage. MacBook Pro, depending on the configurations you get, it can start from, I think, 512 uh, for the lower uh, model or one terabyte for the more expensive one, and you can configure it all the way up to eight terabyte. However, uh, you will pay, I think, about $2,400 to upgrade from one terabyte to four terabytes. These uh, Samsung T5 external hard drives, very fast connection. Uh, there are a couple ways you can use this. You can actually connect these directly to your DSLR camera. Depending on the type of camera you have, you can directly record into these devices and plug it into your MacBook Pro and start editing right away. Or if you're running out of storage, you can actually use these external SSD without really feeling uh, any slowness in your file transfers. So this concludes the list of six must-have accessories, in my personal opinion, for your MacBook Pro, whether you have the 15 inch or 16 inch, and uh, comment down below, let me know if you guys uh, think of any other accessories that I may have missed and uh, that I can uh, share with some of the other viewers. And uh, let me know if you already have any of these things and what are your thoughts. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. You may want to subscribe and turn on the notification so you won't miss blah 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 blah. You may want to subscribe and turn on the notification so you won't miss blah 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 blah. So you won't miss. <laughs> you may want to subscribe and turn on the notification so you won't miss my future videos. <laughs> <laughs>